welcome to the next card spotlight video. God. This is our third in God our series, in heaven. and today, or wherever you are, we are going over Surgical Extraction, which is a Whew. fantastic card, one of my personal favorites. I like it too. Yeah. We we had way too much fun writing this episode really for did. no discernible reason. Literally no reason. Um, so <laughs> let's jump right into it. What is Surgical Extraction? What can you do with it? So it is an instant uh, mm. for one Gitaxian mana, which means. Phyrexian mana, not Gitaxian. I was going to say. <laughs> do you not mean... I was thinking of Gitaxian Pro. I know. Anyway, I know. one Phyrexian mana, which means you can either pay black or pay two life. So, theoretically, it's basically free. Uh, it was originally printed in New Phyrexia in yes. 2011. Uh, so, seven years ago almost now. Yeah. And uh, Too at long. the time, it actually started off with a price tag right around 10 to $11, which is mm. decent for a new set. It's not Beautiful. a bad card. However, a few months into it, uh, it actually dropped significantly down to the 3 to $5 mark. Cheap. Uh, yeah, very cheap. It just wasn't being played anywhere. Uh, however, recently, we've actually seen it spike up to the 18 to $20 range. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we thought now would be a good time to sort of jump in and talk about why that might be. Yeah, Kevin, uh, why do? So here's the thing. Uh, yeah. Surgical Extraction basically is a card that lets you pull a card from a, an opponent's graveyard. Yes. Then you get to look through their hand, their deck, their graveyard, anything, and remove every instance of that card from that player's possibility. Exile all of them. That's why I do. Yeah, very good. However, yeah. we've seen this in the past that this sort of effect isn't really played that often no. in constructed competitive formats. And mm -hmm. um, for some reason, as we'll jump into, it is all of a sudden spiked in this format. And so we actually see why that is by looking firstly at the decks that it's really, really good against. So go yeah. right ahead, Will. Here are some examples. Um, you got Storm decks. You can take things like Grape Shot. Uh, in Modern, Tendrils of Agony, in Legacy, for instance, any of those win cons. Uh, Cold Snap, is that one of them? The Brain Freeze? Mind Brain freeze? freeze. Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze. What you get when you slurp a slurpy too much. Yes. Brain Freeze. We're in a weird mood today. I know. I Well, <laughs> see, I have, like, associative memories for cards. <laughs> yeah. Because, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So, that, that helps. Um, Our show notes are hilarious for this one. Um, some Cambo <laughs> decks. Uh, it's really good against uh, Ad Nauseum. Storm, I guess, is kind of a combo deck, but whatever. Um, it's also good against uh, Tron. Really good against Tron. It is very good against Tron. If yeah. you, you, you pair you pair uh, Surgical Extraction, <laughs> Spinal Tap, with uh, any kind of land destruction spell, and you blow up a Tron spell, a Tron land, excuse me, uh, and then if you're able to resolve that Surgical Extraction, yep. uh, sweet, yeah, I mean, now they don't get, get Tron all, ever. All instances of one of the Tron lands. And forgive me, it exiles it, correct? It does exile it, which makes it very near impossible for them to get back into the game because they're oh, not yes. ramping into their Karn mm. or their Ugin or anything like that. Vanilla so. Tron list, Kev. How many counters do they run? Uh, none. Correct. Generally. <laughs> Usually, there are vanilla. Blue. Vanilla. Tron versions that run it. Yeah, there. Is. Blue Tron is actually its own kind of specific deck. It is. However, however it's not on the top of the Tron mm. list. Uh, That's not what's most played. Generally red green it used to be i mm -hmm. think it might have changed recently mm -hmm. but yeah it's a very oh. good deck and so it's taking over because of eldrazi tron and surgical extraction really helps that to sort of well take a step back right yeah. like it's not going to win every game so. yeah why that works the yeah. tron lands we've talked about them before but if you are just tuning in you don't know the tron lands uh they work uh with one another mm -hmm. in synergy if you've got all three of them on the field they tap for way more mana yes than they usually do one taps two two of them tap for three one taps for four or something no, like that. no one two of them for two and one for three forgive the tower me tower taps for three so go and to the tower the mine and the power plant yes each and they're not legendary so you can yeah yeah, yeah. you have can have as many of two them plants as you want. which would each tap for two you know yeah, yeah. So, it's real. It's a good deck. It's a great deck. But. It is a very good deck, and it's so pop legal, baby. basically, what we're seeing is that it's actually really good against a lot of these yeah. decks. That being said, uh, it's not good against every deck, and <laughs> some of those decks that come to mind, things like red deck wins or white weenie, something like that, where yeah. you could surgical a goblin guide, right? Remove all instances. That seems pretty good. However, they yeah. still have monastery swift spear, or they still have. I know I'm laughing because. <laughs> The show notes again, guys. <laughs> these are funny. Um, but yes, yeah, so they still have backups. Uh, yeah. And the same is true for White Weenie. You get rid of Thalia. They've got Bryn Windmare or something like that. Right. Like they've just got 
a number of creatures. They're just trying to go wide and flood mm. the board. And so it's yep. really not helping to get rid of one instance of a card. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is effective against Death Shadow in that Death Shadow, the, the creature, is really their biggest, scariest thing. Yep. And if you take all their Death Shadow, they've got themselves down to, like, what, eight? Yeah. And they're like, well, <laughs> well dang, Grow Mag Angler? Yeah, exactly. So, which isn't, you know, isn't bad. Um, so where does it go? Whelp. We mentioned earlier the Phyrexian Gitaxian mana uh, means you can just pay two life instead of pay the color cost for it, which is fantastic. That means it can go in anything. And since it's only one, that's great. Yeah. Uh, you awesome. see it in Legacy. You see it in Modern, in, in sideboards. Um, and that's really, wouldn't you say, where... Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, goes. you see this in the sideboard. However, there are a few decks, at least right now, especially in modern, that do run it main. Uh, the biggest example of this is Lantern Control. Oh, yeah. Uh, because, again, they're milling out their opponents, so to be able to s completely surgical away one of their win conditions just means you don't have to worry about it anymore. True. Uh, it also saves you from having to get the full lock on if you can re if you can remove that instance of that spell. So yep. it's very good in, in uh, the Lantern Control deck. It's also pretty good in any sort of Jun list or anything like that yeah. because they've got a lot of Thought Seizes, Inquisitions, things like that. And so you can pull out one of their big spells and then just surgical all the rest of them away. And so it just saves you from really having to worry about so much at the end of the day. Yeah, um, that's great. So it is very fantastic. Overall speaking, it's a very cheap spell. It's a very powerful spell. And that's why we're seeing it rise right now. And that's why it's at its probably most popular point in Magic's history. Uh, probably. Which is fantastic. I probably. Think. It's one of my favorite cards. So I'm happy to yeah. see it. Yeah, it's great. Um, definitely one that I don't think you would ever pay for. Just no. It's free, basically. Yeah, yeah. Just pay two life, leave a black open. Thought sees, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> You can thought seize and surgical on turn one. Let that be known. And it's a really good turn one play in something like Death Shadow. You can run surgical in Death Shadow very successfully. <laughs> so yes, it has a lot of homes. Thankfully, yep. I'm glad yep, it's to flexible. see it. I flexible. remember finding it as like not a dollar card, but like a very cheap card. Yeah. And I bought it for like two dollars. I was like, this is really good. Why is nobody playing this? And then I was like, uh, it's maybe not that good. Well, that's the now thing. I think we're seeing it. Yeah, really. it's it's the meta. Yeah, it's an answer for certain decks. It's not like that well, good, but yeah, yeah. it's nice. It's, it's nice. nice. Um, so with that, guys, that is going to round out this week's card spotlight video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have a suggestion for a card spotlight that you would like us to do, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. We do write an article on these, which is also going to be linked in the description. So feel free to check that out as well. But I think that is going to be it for this. Do you have anything else you want to say? Mm, yes, but I won't. All right, good. <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you in the next Card Spotlight video. And then we go to the outro. <laughs>